Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve Lead Group Remedy 3396. Minimum number of operations to make elements in array distinct. This problem is based on the concept of hash table and also asked in Amazon several times. This question is easy, so I will try to keep the explanation as a beginner friendly manner. Let's have a look on the problem statement. Here we are given an integer array nums and uh, you need to ensure that the elements in the array are distinct or unique. To achieve this, we can perform the following operation any number of time. Okay, this nums array is given to us which is having integers and uh, we have to perform the operation any number of time just to make sure that every single element uh, in this array is distinct. We are having unique elements after performing n times the operation. Operation is remove three elements from the beginning of the array and if there are left fewer than three elements, remove all the remaining elements. Okay, we just have to uh, remove set of three elements from the beginning of the array and see whether uh, the array is having distinct element now or not. So this is the operation and uh, just return the minimum number of operation needed to make the array distinct. Okay, so this array is given to us which is having integer but it can contain duplicates and what operation is just pick three elements from the starting and remove them from the array. Okay, I just did one operation, right? I just did one operation and after that I can see that three is again repeating. Now I'll just make one more operation. I just picked three elements from the starting and deleted them. Now elements remaining are three, five, seven. All are unique, right? If all are unique, then uh, stop performing the operations and just return how many times you have performed the operation. So this is the problem statement and also they are saying that in nums array, the length will go around 100 and uh, a value of any integer is also going till 100 from 1 to 100. Okay, so operation we understood that we have to remove three elements from the starting and uh, after that we have to check we uh, we are left with unique elements or you can say distinct element how do how we can check that see to check every single element is distinct we have to make sure that every single element is appearing only one time right and this is we usually call frequency frequency of every remaining element is one so every remaining element in this array should have frequency one what if we are having a distinct element in the starting? It means there is uh, no need to apply any operation. So we will be applying operation if at least one element is having frequency more than one. So first of all, we need to decide how we are going to capture this frequency. We know there is something called a uh, map data structure. Map data structure or you can say hash table concept where we usually uh, maintain a table. A table is something like uh, first one is key, second one is value. Key can be our element, right? And the value is like how many times that element is present in this nums array. Okay. We are also given that this nums array will have values from 1 to 100. From 1 to 100. Okay. And against 1 to 100, we need to check the frequency. So one, one idea is that just pick any implementation of hash table like uh, hash map in Java. Just take hash map and keep storing the key value pairs. Other thing is that our keys are in this range from 1 to 100. If I just take an array and I will try to map every single value to the index. index. First index is always 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At least I need 100 as a value because 100 can be the element. So this array is going to have a size of 101 because 100 is the index and we are starting from 0. So all of these cells I can map to the corresponding nums of i. Nums of i. Nums of i is mapped to this indices and value you can store in this array. right? So in short, what I'm saying is that if I just take an integer array of 101 size, I will be able to accommodate all the integers from this array. Why I'm taking this integer array? There is no need to take this overhead. 
that it taking the implementation with it because this might be storing some other factors as well with the implement like with the hash map uh, data structure so keep it very simple we usually call it uh, a custom hash table custom hash table so you took a custom hash table and you created it using an integer array of size 101 because every element you are 100% sure that it won't cross 100 because of the constraint okay so you have taken an array and in this array you can store the frequency and how we can store the frequency we for that we have to do one iteration so do one iteration over the nums array and store the frequencies let me uh, run this over example this is the given example given integer array and I'm going to store the frequency see for that what I'm going to do is I'm taking an integer array of size 101 because uh, number value cannot cross 100 so 101 size array I have taken and what I'm going to do store is I'm considering these keys uh, these indices as a keys and the value in this integer array as a frequency so it should be zero initially so every element should be initialized with zero I'm not marking zero here so you can assume that everything is zero in the starting so first element is one increment the value at one then two then three from zero to one four is incremented two is again incremented so from one it is becoming two three is now uh, two and 3 is now 3 5 one time 7 one time so here I have captured the frequency see the first step is done because we need to know how how many times every element is coming after that they are saying while we are having unique items in this array see we are not concerned about this array anymore we what we uh, actually want is there is every element in this hash function having a frequency of one they should not have frequency more than one okay so if if they are having frequency more than one just up do one do the operation apply operation so for that while we are not having unique elements just apply operation apply operation so this is something you have to do while every element is not unique and how do I check whether it is unique or not we can check over iteration of 101 size over this array 101 size or whatever is the maximum value that you can also use so just iterate over this array again and see if any element is having frequency more than one then return false otherwise and the end return true so this is going to be my unique function and if it is returning false it should become true so I should have a negation operation uh, here while unique element while it is not having unique element then apply operation so this is our condition while it is not having unique elements just apply operation and for the checking of the unique operation I will just write one more function which is going to do the iteration over the hash table and to see whether any hash key is having value greater than one or not okay so this is the validation of the operation and what is the operation operation is something remove three elements from the starting if it is from the starting just take a counter let's say counter is i again take three elements from the starting and delete them from the hash table so how can I delete these three elements reduce the count of one reduce, reduce the count of two reduce the count of three okay one operation is applied count of one is reduced to zero count of two is reduced to one count of three is reduced to two from three after that you again check whether every element in the in this hash is unique or not by just doing one iteration over the hash for hash table and see if any of the key crossing one as a frequency then return false otherwise return true if it is returning true the condition will remain false and we will not be applying operation and while applying the operation you also need to sh make sure that if i is valid 
if this i pointer is valid count is greater than 0 which is initially 3 we get only three option three element we have to remove at max if it is if we are able to remove three element just remove three element if we are if we do not have the possibility to remove three element maybe let's say if i is at this five so we, we will only be able to remove two elements so in that case just don't remove any element from the hash table so just these edge cases this corner uh, these conditions you have to make sure okay so this is a uh, whole about this problem so step one is prepare hash hash table prepare hash table and second one is while not having unique element in this hash note unique in this hash operation do the operation okay and when you are doing the operation just answer plus plus answer is zero answer is going to be by number of times I am applying the operation then you can return it now what is the time and space complexity preparing hash table order of n time and what is the time complexity of this while we are having unique element this operation we can apply at max n by 3 times and to check every unique operation we'll do an iteration of 101 time so overall it is a linear time operation and what about the space space is also order of 101 you can call it constant okay now let's uh, write the code for this approach let's write code and submit this problem uh, so first of all we have to prepare the hash of this n size array nums dot length integer array hash is equal to new integer of size 101 for every uh, number in nums array i need to store it in the hash nums of hash of num plus plus it is by default initialized with zero okay so hash table is initialized now we have to apply the operation and let's say answer is zero initially while i don't get unique element in this hash then i will do something i will do something and i will increment this operation counter in the end this operation counter is going to be my answer so what is this operation we have only option to uh, remove at least three, uh, maximum three element so count is equal to three while count minus minus greater than zero what i'm going to do is um, i also need to maintain a counter counter is something like integer idx is equal to zero this idx should be less than n and count should be greater than greater than zero uh, just remove the element at this index for removal we don't have to remove exactly from this nums array just remove it from the hash table so hash table whatever is the in, uh, element at idx nums of idx remove the frequency minus minus i have reduced the frequency and after that i will increment the index i will increment the index so let's say if they are only left with two elements so there is no need to remove three elements so two element two times this loop will run and it will remove the elements and the counter will be increased and after that we'll get a unique element set and will return answer now we just have to implement this unique function this unique utility function is uh, going to take parameters like uh, it is returning boolean for sure unique integer array hash see we just have to check whether every element is having frequency one or zero so uh, for i equal to zero i less than hash dot length i plus plus if hash of i is greater than one it means it is not unique return false otherwise return true okay so this is the function taking order of one zero one time and uh, these are these are the loops order of n time and this is also in the worst case order of n time 
okay let's run over sample test cases to see if we are not making any compilation error now it's working fine i'm submitting the problem it got submitted successfully guys um, i hope you understood the problem uh, thank you guys if in case you get any doubt still you can comment down below and let me know what approach you used to solve this problem thank you guys bye bye